first of all I want to welcome my new subscribers some of them have followed a recommendation of a youtuber who's called Pierre and he gave my channel a shout out on his channel um, on his channel he does a lot of artistic stuff and he's also a vlogger and uh, I really appreciate that someone who I, I have been following because he does some amazing stuff on his channel and that he recommended me to his viewers. So thank you, Pierre. I will put his link down below if you want to check him out. dealing with negative stress, first of all, understand where it's coming from. This is an important foundation for the following steps. So where is stress, where are negative feelings coming from? What are they there for? If you have an understanding for that, you can go to the next step. Next step will be learning how to use your body to become relaxed. Like there are techniques that can calm you down. Uh, for example, breathing meditation, also muscle relaxation. There are several techniques you can just learn to use to just take things down a notch. Next thing will be to learn how to just feel emotions in a non-judgmental way. Um, which emotions are out there? Just learn about emotions. What emotions do exist, sadness, anger, uh, fear, happiness, surprise, disgust, like those are the basic emotions. Learn about them, learn what they feel like and learn how to describe them. Am I feeling restless? Am I feeling sad? Am I mad? Am I anxious? Who knows? Try to just look at those feelings separately and describe them. This will switch off your logical parts of the brain and that's good because when the logic part of the brain is active the irrational, highly emotional part is being turned down a notch. Next step will be to accept and tolerate the feelings. Big step. I don't want to go into details, I just want to give an overview today. Accepting and tolerating the feeling. And this is hard because in highly sensitive people, even in non-highly sensitive people, feelings can be super strong and learning to accept them, it takes a lot. And this is why you need to understand where they're coming from. Because emotions contain information and they're important to understand, to feel. So. Next step will be supporting yourself when you're really upset, like finding thoughts that can help you. Major, major thing. Like when you're upset and you're not supporting yourself, you're out there alone. Maybe you will find someone in your surrounding world supporting you, but if not, you're lost. So learn how to support yourself. Next step, analyzing and solving problems. Like this is something you can do when your stress has gone down a little bit, like on the range of 0 to 100, when you are over 70, don't even try it. You'll lose. Just try to find a calm moment to solve the problem, but not when you're out of control. Next step will be repeating, repeating, repeating. And this is just the overview. It's according to a psychologist called Birking. It's called Training of Emotional Competences and it's awesome. I don't want to make this video too long so I hope this was already somehow helpful if you're dealing with strong feelings. If you have any questions or recommendations what you guys do please let me know and comment down below. I'd like to go into more depth of some of those parts, maybe all of them, because for me I'm training this right now because I'm still learning, dealing with the high sensitivity and I can share parts with you and I'd be interested to know which ones uh, I can share next time. So thanks for passing by, hope to see you soon, take care!